Longjian, or when translated, the sword that climbed the dragon, or dubbed Dragon Strike, is a new technique that allows you to plunge up enemy and do a lot of damage and style point. Hey, welcome back. Today, I want to talk about Dragon Strike, which is a new technique that allows you to plunge up enemy. Now, there's three major reasons why you want to do this. The first one is that because it looked cool, of course, and that's all you need to know. However, the second and the third reason are rather practical. The second being that you can actually use this to dodge enemy attack. See how in here I jumped over the enemy attack and avoid the damage. Yep. Just in case you think that was because of a shield, here is a 1 HP battle by a Chinese user where he avoided all the attack. The link in some of these video will be in the description so you can go check them out. The final reason is of course that you can actually gain damage from doing this. And well, let's get started. Now I want to quickly clarify that this have nothing to do with collision. I have seen people jump off this totem right here. And that is the result of collision, not because of this dragon strike technique. See how in here I can just jump onto the totem, and here you can see that I am actually standing on the totem. This is the result of collision, and this is what allows you to plunge off the totem. And instead observe that here I jump away from the enemy and do not actually collide onto him. This technique is actually the result of hit lag. And just to show you, I can even jump plunge off a tree. Notice that when your weapon connect with an enemy, it will actually stop moving for a few frames and doesn't do damage. Let me slow it down all the way to 5% for you. Notice the yellow flash indicating the weapon have connected and then it stopped moving and not until later did damage number finally show up. You must have noticed this against big shield enemy as well where your weapon significantly slow down. As it turned out, during this hit lag window, if you have enough speed and start a dash jump, you can jump high enough to plunge. Just to show that this is not a result of elevation, notice that how I'm jumping from low ground to high ground. With that being said, there's two conditions to trigger this. The first one is that you must have enough speed. A tall character like the Luke is the prime candidate for this because he runs faster. The second condition is that you must initiate an attack and you must have enough hit lag so that you can input your dash jump. And again, the Luke being a Claymore character naturally means he hit slower, and so therefore he have enough hit lag. However, of course not limited to the Luke. You could do this on Xin Yang on Noel, or even follow up Kershing newest technique, where you do a double Yi and immediately follow up with a Dragon Strike. Here you can see under the right condition where I have a lot of hit lag and speed from the Deona shield and double anemo, even Hu Tao can become Xiao. Finally, let's talk about damage gain. Characters like Noel or Beidou have potential to see a slight amount of damage gain, but the real biggest damage gainer here are Daluk and Chong Yun. Not only plunging have bigger AoE, but also deal better damage against Xiu. Using plunge to dodge instead would also mean that you do more damage because you spend less time dodging as well as being able to cancel off animation it could result in more damage. And now for the biggest part of all of this. Let's take a look at the Luke who actually have the highest plunge damage in the game. At level talent 8, my Luke have 382% high plunge damage. In comparison, my 1 hit and 2 hit are only at the 150 range meaning that his plunge damage are potentially doing more than double damage than your normal attack. However, there's more to that. It turned out that the plunges actually do not have internal cooldown on vaporizing. Here is the first plunge vaporize, the second plunge vaporize, and the third plunge vaporize. With that being said, your brand new dragon the loot combo is triple auto into searing onslaught as always, however cancel out of the third one by doing a jump plunge, follow up by spamming jump plunge. Now using the previous combo I just showed you, you can actually get 40% more damage by playing dragon the loot than compared to regular version the loot. Now that you know what it is, it's time to train you to become the dragon master. 
the first step you want to practice is practice your dashing timing. Try to get the dash in before the damage number appear. For example, see here at the Luke feed. Notice how he start running however the hit have connected but the damage number has not yet appeared it. And this is the timing you want for the first step. The second step is to add the jump in. Once you're able to glide, you did it right. Notice how I'm pressing both dash and jump at the same time. Final step of course is to add the attack in and once again I want you to pay attention to my key presses. Now another really good to train location is this place right here. I don't know, does this have a name? So whatever this is called. Uh, but the guy one is this guy right here. Uh, you want to bring Fiona with you or double enamel or both to help with the boost speed a bit. But you just walk up to him and wait for him to put the shoe up. Right here. Right. Now once he has his shoe up, you just go. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't hit me, don't hit me. I don't recommend practicing it in the child boss fight because not only is annoying but also because here you can see I have collision onto him so this is a collision jump not a dragon strike. But yeah you can jump off slime once you have mastered it there's a lot of cool combo you can do. For example like this uh 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 okay I mean like this. Overall, it is up to you if you think this is worth learning or not at all. Uh, I would have to say this is really cool and it does have practical usage, but it is actually really really difficult. The timing on this is really really strict. Uh, you will see a lot of people bring Diona to help because of the 10% boost speed and it does help a lot. And right now, the, the Luke Sing Shield Diona with Bandit Comp is actually a very very abyss compatible or sorry competitive abyss comp in the chinese meta because of as you can see how much damage the luke get from doing this plunge attack technique uh furthermore is that the 1.4 abyss have been leaked to have a plunge bonus so this is actually a rather good opportunity to learn it but i do have to admit that at the end of the day like 90 percent of this is just for style point but hey you can go to your friend and show them how cool you really are there's a lot of cool stuff that the Chinese people have done with uh, the technique already. You can find some of this link in the description including the 1 HP Beto solo uh, like Noel or the Luke against the Primal Bishop. Uh, and while you're in the description, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.